Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Billy Visuals. We're all about visuals. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the new NMD R2. Um, this one is the bread colorway. So black, red, and uh, white. Quality of the prime knit is just very, very on point. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the comfort between this and NMD R1s. I do not have any NMD R1s on me because in my opinion, the first time I ever tried an NMD R1, the mesh one, the boost was not there. So this is like kind of a, a controversial topic. And um, I feel like a lot of people don't understand that the whole Adidas hype of NMDs really kind of dug a pit for Adidas in terms of comfort. A lot of people who were basically riding the NMD wave, when they first came out, everyone was trying to buy their mesh NMDs. Um, even I was. So I bought the NMD mesh once or twice, actually. Um, the first time was the Tokyo uh, white tab with the blue plug and then the red black plug at the front. It looks like a really good shoe. Don't get me wrong. For NMDs, I really like the fashion sense. And I know a lot of people are going to hate me for this. But to be honest, Adidas for me is all about comfort and looks, not just the looks. So for their NMD plugs, the EVA blocks that they have, they basically broke it down like this. The front is a small little plug that goes into the front of the shoe and it covers just a little bit of the boost inside. But for the rear plug, it literally goes on one side to the other side, but it's in a U shape and the EVA stops you from feeling the boost material. So what does that mean? Well, for me, when I first bought the NMD, I thought it would feel like a pure boost. I thought it would feel like an ultra boost um, with the boost squishiness material, but it really wasn't there. And the reason why is because of that plug. And because everyone was riding the hype on how cheap it was, like it was about 120 USD, I think at the time when it released and also the looks. So everyone was going for the hypeness of that. And it really kind of dug a pit in terms of comfort because everyone was hyping about how comfortable boost was but when a new person who have never felt boost before bought an nmd expecting boost to be the most comfortable thing in the world they don't really get that i mean it's mild compared to pure boost it's mild compared to ultra boost it definitely reflects the price point but it definitely doesn't show people the true boost that exists in the adidas comfort levels but also the prime knit on nmds are on point as well like I've tried the City Sock NMDs and those ones are really comfortable and they wrap your foot really nicely. But the boost again isn't there. So it's like a iffy thing for me, even though I know a lot of people like NMD for its fashion sense. And I do agree with you. NMD does look really nice. It's a stunner. Like when you look from afar, oh, what are those plugs? And definitely catches people's attention. So then came the NMD R2. The first colorway was the olive and black colorway. And they had this prime knit sock around it, which is really cool. And it's very similar to how the NMD R1 was. Uh, but they had prime knit and also the EVA plug disappeared from the side. In my opinion, if it compromises the comfort comfort of the shoe, I wouldn't mind being taken away. So what they did was basically cut out the EVA plug in the front and then cut out the EVA plug at the back, but put this nice little interesting pattern on it. And then they put the EVA plug more intensely in the middle. I like this silhouette a lot because even though the EVA plug is inside and it's not screaming, look at me on the outside, it's very subtle. It's like, oh, that what, what shoe is this guy wearing? And then they try to look for it when they lift up their foot and then you see this EVA plug and you're like, oh, that's an NMD. So it doesn't need to be like always a very attentive shoe if you want it to be stealth, but um, it also is there when you want it to be like a flashy kind of shoe. When they take out the plug and put your feet on top of just a stack load of boost, it really gives the perspective to people about what the comfort really is for boost and not like the fake comfort that you get with the NMD R1. So for the fitting, you want to buy half size up. On the last NMD R1 prime knit, you basically went half size down because of the prime knit being very stretchy and not no support but for this prime knit there is support so you might want to just go half size up because this toe box might be a bit narrow on this shoe there's quite a bit of materials on it there's prime knit there's the eva plug there's the boost there's the rubber outsole there's the nylon pull tab the leather heel well it's faux leather heel cage faux leather adidas logo flat laces and prime knit and also 
There's cushioning around the ankle collar, which is mesh made. So it's not full prime knit all around the shoe. The prime knit on the shoe is really comfortable as well. So it definitely goes hand in hand with the boost and the prime knit to be a comfortable daily walker. So the prime knit material on this shoe only shines past the laces and it really conforms your foot here. If you wear this shoe and try to stretch the prime knit, it's quite stretchy. A lot of people are saying how this prime knit pattern is kind of weird. I really like it because it definitely sh shows a different texture when the light hits it differently. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. There's another NMD prime knit that wraps around your ankle like a uh, sock and I really want to gra grab a pair of those if I can. This shoe is still very comfortable and it's a great daily casual walker. The comfort definitely wins over the R1 but the R1 definitely has a much more fashionable edge to it than this one does but that's not to say that the other colorways are not good as well. Hopefully I got a good enough in depth review of this shoe for you guys. If you guys have any questions please leave in the comment section below. This has been Billy Visuals. You guys just got visualized and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.